60 crank horsepower. Let's go! All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> Our beloved Mustang 2022 GT back to stock again. Huh? The real new car? What about the new car? You gotta show it to him. The one that you bought. Oh, is this the one? Yes. That's my new key? <laughs> yes. Oh, let's go check it out. Man, I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as possible. If you're not paying attention to my Instagram and other social media, then you don't know this. But I'm one of the main installers at Tactical Wraps here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Been there for, I guess, a couple of months now. Life has been extremely, extremely busy. I mean, I barely have time to even make this video that I'm making right now. But I need to get out there because we're taking our final drive in our 22 Mustang GT. I know, go ahead and kill me in the comments. Oh my gosh, we drank the Kool-Aid. We're getting the new one. But guys, if you want wraps, PPFs, window tent, custom stuff, hit me up. I'll hook you up. But follow the links down below, tacticalwraps.com. Come check us out. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, on with the video. We're on our way to give this thing a final, that's on CA Corvette, final car wash. And the car is completely back to stock. Yeah, we did that. So uh, anyway, but we've actually had the new car for, I guess, about a week now. But guys, final drive. I love these Mustangs, man. I, this is my fifth S550. And I gotta tell you, you only live once and tomorrow is not promised. And oh, by the way, I do wanna say this, put this out there, uh, we're like, three days in where israel is three days in with the hamas combat stuff going on right now so they're uh israeli war and my heart goes out to them i stand with israel hopefully you do too i am a christian and i'm going to tell you if you do not know god in this day and age now is the time don't know what you're waiting on get to know him tomorrow is not promised and that ultimately is going to lead us into the car conversation i guess guys i've had five s550s we've been building them all in a little bit of a different way but i've had an s550 in my life of some variation of some trim level since 2016 2015 2016 one of those years you know built them all up we've done this we've done that we've raced them we've done all kinds of stuff now i didn't get to do everything that i wanted to in this vehicle because like i said life has gotten extremely busy there which is a good thing that's always a good thing i decided to jump to the 2024 we'll get into that like i said in the back half of this video but i'm i'm i love this car my white s550 my 2022 mustang gt i'm sorry to see it go i tried to have them both at the same time but unfortunately money just didn't work out uh interest rates are a little higher on the new car well a lot higher than i wanted them to be and you can uh take a guess as to wonder why <coughs> God, it didn't. yeah uh his whole administration and the way things are in the world today, financially. Anyway, so we can only pick one. And guys, I've been making S550 content for many years, hundreds and hundreds of videos. And uh, I guess, you know, my buddy Stang Mode, he put out a video talking about his reasons why. He just wants to jump to this S650 content uh, solely, you know, as a primary daily driver vehicle. You still do S550 here and there with other people's vehicles, but we've told the story over and over and over. And uh, it's time to keep up, I guess, with the times and buy the new dude. And that's what we did and I cannot wait to show you, but let's get this car washed real quick. It's been sitting in my garage, getting dissected for about two weeks. So let's give her a little rinse. Anyway, about the new car. So I wasn't gonna do it. I was uh, going back and forth and we'll cover more of this in, I guess, in another video, a dedicated video. Uh, but if you're here and you want to know, if you don't, you're going to hear it anyway, I guess. Long story sweet, I played around with some of the 24s. Uh, we drove a manual performance package, which is was just absolutely unbelievable how good it is. How much better it is over the S550. And how wrong I've been about the S650. Um, it is not, in my opinion, just a refresh. It is enough to call it a new car, and it is. They've worked, does, 
they're doing most of the time, and they've called it the S650, right? The seventh generation Mustang, and it is amazing. You really got to go spend some time around the cars. You got to drive them and appreciate and look at all the little things, and then you'll know. Because here's my thing, I'm gonna leave you with this. If you love the S550, you're gonna love the S650. You really will. Even though you can't tune them yet, you will be eventually able to do so. And the aftermarket is going to figure it out. Just give it a little bit of time. Are they slower than the S550? I don't really care. And because I can tell you in car, they feel vastly different. And I can tell you the car is amazing. Amazing! I really wanted to keep them both at the same time. Continue this build and have the S650 alongside it and have you know both generations side by side. It would have been amazing to be able to do that. My wallet's not big enough. I'm sorry guys. I'm not rich. I make YouTube videos does not mean that I'm rich. But I wanted to go with the times myself and uh, focus on the, the next generation. The seventh generation all new 2024 Mustang and uh, do we have a dark horse? Do we get a regular TT? I don't know, keep watching, figure it out. What we'll probably do is maybe tease at the end. If I don't, then we'll just actually just make a whole separate video. So I apologize in advance if you made it this far and you haven't seen the new car yet. I guess get ready for the reveal. Probably honestly the better thing to do. That way we spend more time around the car because we have to do an exit video with this one. I love this car. Love to have been able to keep it side by side with the new one, but um, it just was not in the cards. And uh, you know, now winter's approaching, so I don't know. I think that uh, the new build's gonna be something different than straight line anyway. I think we're gonna focus on handling because it's kind of the core that we want. It's uh, pretty good at handling corners. So we shall see. Want to do some different stuff maybe work with some different brands might switch things up not really sure yet but keep it interesting but yeah we'll be one of the few i guess to have one of the lucky few to have a new mustang and there's a lot of people still waiting too i hated the crap out of it on the internet and on social media and pictures and videos and then i saw in person and i was way wrong way wrong i was immediately impressed and then when i drove them different variations i was blown away and i had to do it i had to do it and they're that good in my opinion that they are that good so anyway i guess we'll wrap it up we've been rambling long enough but yes um beat me up in the comments you're welcome to hey it's trading cars again i know that there's a lot of fans out there for this build I am too, that's why I did it. But I've had five S550s, I've all built them a little bit different in their own way. It's something I like to do, you know. Um, it's, tomorrow's not promised, guys. You know, I, I like to build them and have a little fun and then release them back into the wild, if you will. Um, there's nothing, I have the, the means and the capability to do that and to enjoy different cars. Okay, that's one of the things that we do on the internet, on YouTube, is to be able to bring you guys content. And if I were to continue this build, we've seen it a million times already. I've done it a million times. It's time to move on. I'm cool with it. I'm hoping that you're cool with it too. Like it, like or love the new one, I think that you will just give us some time because I can promise you this. Once tuning becomes available on the new one, Everybody's gonna love it. It's gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. Guess how I know this? Did we forget what happened in 2015? The new Mustang came out, S550, and everybody hated it. The 2024 is going to be similar, okay? You're gonna have tuning available, and then we're going to go through the growing pains of financing tunes, figuring out all the little secrets inside of the computer and what the engines can do and the capabilities and I think that we're all going to be highly impressed and I'm excited now to be able to be a part of that so and it will be able to kind of make history in a way we did this before with the Gen 3 Coyote and Palm Beach Dino and some of these other aftermarket companies me and a few others were spearheading a lot of the stuff and were the test dummies for a lot of the tunes that you guys have in your cars if you don't believe me go back into the archives of the videos and find them so it's kind of cool to be you know 
and that minority that got to do those things and play with the aftermarket and be in the industry kind of in a way and really kind of, I don't know, have fun, you know, and, and uh, help the product grow, help the aftermarket support the cars that we love so much. I am, actually I've never really thought of it that way. It's really cool to actually be a part of that. Kind of like being a part of history. Um, anyway, I don't, I say that humbly, okay? So, anyway. All right, that's gonna be the video. I think it's been going on long enough, but we had to have a bit of an exit video for this one. So hopefully you guys can get into my head a little bit. Guys, just, we've been busy. I'm trying to keep up with the videos. So we gotta get back on track and make videos. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to get there, especially with the new car. So lots of exciting things coming out and we'll show you the reveal in the next video. Pray for Israel right now. Pray for Israel. Guys, get in the word. Pray. Now is the time to do that more than ever. Support any way that you can. Flood social media with your support for our brothers and sisters over there in harm's way in Christ. And remember, God's not done with the Jews. Guys, read your Bibles. God is not done with the Jews. That is, this, this whole thing is, is part of the plan and it's going to get much worse before his final day. God bless you.